right, Shalom Israel. Welcome back to another edition of Storytime. The two Babylons or the Papal Worship. Right? This is by a man named Reverend Alexander Hislop. It says proved to be the worship of Nimrod and his wife. With 61 illustrations from Nineveh, Babylon, Egypt, Pompeii, etc. All right, so let's go inside the book. We're going to learn a little bit about Christmas. Let's see what it says. It says, indeed, it is admitted by the most learned and candid writers of all parties that the day of our Lord's birth cannot be determined hmm. so most learned scholars know that we can't figure out the day of the lord's birth why because the bible does not say when he was born there's nowhere in that bible that you will find that christ who the world calls jesus was born december 25th it's not in there that's a thick book it's not in there all right let's go back it says it says, within the Christian church, so no such festival of as Christmas was ever heard of till the third century. So they didn't even, there was no such thing as Christmas until the 200, like 200 AD. That's around, that's around the time. Uh, shortly after September, 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 Severus conquered Rome, 193 AD. It says, and that not till the fourth century was far advanced did it gain much observance. So all the way to the 300s, nobody was celebrating Christmas. How then did the Romish church Fix on December the 25th as Christmas Day. Why thus long before the 4th century and long before the Christian era itself, a festival was celebrated among the heathen. The heathen celebrated Christmas at the precise time of the year in honor of the birth of the son of the Babylonian queen of heaven. And it may fairly be presumed that in order to conciliate the heathen and to swell the number of the nominal adherents of Christianity, the same festival was adopted by the Roman church. Giving it, giving it only the name of Christ. So they did this in an effort to swell the numbers of Christianity. It says, this tendency on the part of the Christians to meet paganism halfway was very early developed. And we find Tertullian, even in his day, about the year 230, bitterly lamenting the inconsistency of the disciples of Christ in this respect and contrasting it with strict fidelity of the pagans to their own superstition. All right. So Tertullian was even against it. He started the idea of the Trinity. All right. Let's go down a little bit. It says that Christmas was originally a pagan festival right is beyond all doubt the time of year and the ceremonies with which it is still celebrated prove its origin in egypt the son of isis the egyptian title for the queen of heaven was born at this very time about the time of the winter solstice that's why you celebrate it in the December 25th time, all right, in the dead of winter, because it's celebrating the birth of Isis, the son of Isis, queen of heaven, all right? It says the very name by which 
Christian Christmas is popularly known among ourselves. Yule Day proves at once its pagan and Babylonian origin. Yule is Chaldean, is Chaldee, is the Chaldee name for an infant or little child. And as the 25th of December, let's flip the page, was called by our pagan Anglo ancestors, Yule Day or the Child's Day and the night that preceded it, Mother Night, long before they came in contact with Christianity that sufficiently Prove its real character. Guys, you're celebrating false worship. This is not of the most high. All right, let's get some more. Just the highlighted part. It says, the Christmas tree, now so common among us, was equally common. Oh, let me focus a little bit. Was equally common among, was equally common in pagan Rome and pagan egypt they had christmas trees y'all too to worship who Baal. right you still worshiping Baal, Baal barith and Baal tamar right that's what you're doing when you're celebrating christmas with these christmas trees let's get some more all right this is page 98 all right it says therefore therefore Lock it. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Let me see if that helps. It says, therefore, the 25th of December, the day that was observed at Rome as the day when the victorious God reappeared on earth, was held at the Natalis Invicti Solis, the birthday of the unconquered son. That's what y'all celebrating on December 25th, the birthday of the unconquered sun. It says the Christmas tree is Nimrod. What did it say there? It's Nimrod. Ready, ready. Let me see that. Ready. Vivas. It says the slain God come to life again. That's what your Christmas tree is about. All of that goes back to Babylon. So you worshiping not Christmas, not being a Christian, but you're actually your religion, your real religion is Babylonianism. All right. That's why we encourage our brothers and sisters to read books. All right. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.